This episode is brought to you by Digium. Digium is the creators of Asterisk, the open source PBX. Visit them at digium.com, asterisk.org, and asteriskenow.org. And also, BitGravity. BitGravity offers you content distribution needs for all of your online media. Visit them at bitgravity.com. And by Eden Soto. Eden Soto, the motion design artist. Visit Eden at EdenSoto.com. I'm Mark Spitzer, and this is Astrocast. Hi, and welcome to episode 5 of Astrocast. I'm Tony. And I'm John. And in this episode, we're going to cover menuing systems inside of Asterisk and recording the prompts for those menus through the telephone. In conjunction with this new episode, we've also released our new website, which you can visit at astrocast.com. We're also switching to a new, shorter format for our films. Hopefully, the Astrocast episodes won't be any longer between 15 to 30 minutes long. We got the suggestion from Chris Wallace from BitGravity. We think we'll be able to distribute more videos in a shorter period of time in doing it this way, and instead of boring you with watching hour-long episodes covering things you may not care about, you can download and view only the episodes you want to see. So to get started, I'm going to pass it over to John, and we're going to start the menuing system. All right. So um, I have a new install of Asterisk. Uh, it's running um, 1.6.0.1. I just installed it today, as you can see there. And now, um, so, what, so to start off, I guess the best thing to do would be to show how to make a recording through the telephone. I have two telephones here. I have extension 100 and extension 101. So um, I have this really simple dial plan right here. Um, the only thing that's maybe a little bit different here is I added a local dial extension, which makes it so I can call from this phone to this phone. Um, all right, so let's make a quick record context. And we've covered context in our past shows, so um, anyone can feel free to go back and look on what a context is in the previous shows. So the first thing I'm going to do is answer. Then I'm going to wait for two seconds. And the reason I wait is because if, uh, if the audio stream isn't completely set up, the waiting will allow the audio stream to actually finally get set up. Then I'm going to record. And I'm going to say I'm going to record in temp slash new greeting colon SLN. Now I'm choosing SLN um, because it, it, it's the suggested format by the Asterix community. You can also use EULA, WAVE, GSM, and if you have the codec, G729. But I'm choosing SLN, which stands for Sign Linear Format. All right, and then I need to add my record context to the default. I should show you that too before I do an asterisk reload. Um, all of my SIP clients are set up to use um, the context default. So that's how I know where they're going to land when they come into the extensions.com right here. All right, so I'm going to do asterisk minus R. I'm going to say module reload. So now when, I'm, when I dial 200, you can see the calls getting answered. And I can talk, and it's recording a file called New Greeting, which I'll show you in just a second. And to end the recording, I can just hang up the phone. Now, um, to show you, we have slash temp slash new greeting dot SLN. Now, let's say, obviously, a lot of people can't record this format on their, or listen to this format on their computers. But you, let's say you wanted to edit this and then bring it back into Asterisk. This is, this is kind of neat. Um, you can do Asterisk minus R. You can say File convert slash temp slash new greeting dot SLN. You can say slash temp slash new greeting dot wave. And what that did is it created a, a version of the file that can be open probably on most everyone's computer. So and you can do the same thing like I said before, GSM, ULAW, any one of those you can do. So that's a little side note. So now we have our file. So now let, let's build the directory, which I've already done. I've already recorded all these prompts, but I'll just show you the steps to get to that point. So I'm going to do make there um, slash var lib asterisk voicemail, or I'm sorry, sounds. Then I made a directory called menu. 
Okay, and obviously it already exists because I created it and I recorded all of the prompts that I needed already. So let's say I wanted to use that as my greeting. Um, I'll just show you what I did here. Um, I have greeting, option one, option two, and vmail menu dot uh, sln. So I have all the, my stuff that I have, I already have all the stuff I need, but let's say if you wanted to change the, the file, so let's say you wanted to create one file called greeting and another file called option one, we'll edit slash etsy asterisk extensions.conf and you'll just change this file to whatever you want it to be. So that could be option one, option two, and just don't forget to do a reload um, after you change the file or module, actually, actually module reload now, they're depreciating uh, reload. Okay, so let's actually write our menuing system. So I'm choosing to make a new context called menu. I'm also, I'm also want to make this context so it answers for any. So what underscore x dot does, it says any digits or any one digit followed by more digits or just one digit um, is valid in this. So it could be a 10 digit number, 11 digit number, two digit number, it doesn't really matter. It'll just fall right into that particular uh, extension. So I'm gonna answer. Then the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a wait. But this time I'm only gonna do a wait for 1.5 seconds. I'm just doing that to show you that it, um, it's possible to use a non-integer, so a non-whole number as, as your weight. You could also say 0.5 or, or anything like that. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is read. And what read will do is that it actually waits for input. And I'm going to use the variable selected. And then I'm going to say menu slash greeting. And this is actually the audio file. So everything in asterisk is based on the first directory, var lib asterisk sounds. So that um, so in the sounds directory, everything is based is based purely on that. By saying slash menu, what I'm doing is I'm saying please enter the menu directory and then play this file. By default, I think it goes with your language, which is English, EN. Okay, and then I'm going to say one, which means I only want to accept one digit. So a lot of places when you call it, 